Craig, not the first time we've been here at Curve Developments looking at your technology. Always new innovations. Tell us about the Plasmaster. Uh, the Plasmaster uh, was developed to, to fill a gap in the market that we perceived from people that were buying an entry-level machine uh, through to, say, one of our mid-range or high-end ultra-sharp plasma machines. It's obvious to me what the machine is, but can you tell the viewers, yeah, it's a plasma cutter and what, what it can actually do? Yeah, this is a, a Plasmaster 3015. The numbering system relates to the bed length, which is three metres, and the width, which is 1,500 millimetres. Now, we've, we've spoken in, in detail before about the bigger machines and what sort of markets they go into, but where, where are you aiming this machine? Is it for, for smaller manufacturers? Is it for uh, certain thicknesses of materials, certain different types of parts? Where, where are you aiming this? It's predominantly for people that, that need to cut parts themselves. They need them to, to build assemblies and sub-assemblies and don't want to wait for subcontractors to deliver those parts to them. So it can be from, say, one millimeter, some, some ductwork type products, through to, say, 15 millimeter thick parts. Is there any compromise on quality? It's evident that this is a, a lower cost machine and where you're aiming. So does it mean that there is any compromise in what you can get off this machine in terms of quality compared to maybe your, your Ruhr machine? Yeah, what, what we didn't want to do was compromise on the quality. So in terms of uh, the parts that, that make up the machine, it's got a Bernie control and drive system. It's got twin side drive. We've got AC brushless motors. So, so that the delivery of, of the acceleration and deceleration on the machine is very, very good. And that results in good cut quality. So when kind of like the bridge is travelling, you say you've got twin side motors, what, where's the advantage with that? Is it because you get, you get a more stable, is a more stable construction? Yeah, as, each motor, as each drive's moving down the, the rack and pinion, that's being, the information on that is being sent back to the controller and it's just making, making sure that they're synchronised. So it's got a perfectly smooth motion. Do you often find that some then just use one sided motors? Uh, some machines do have a single side motor and, and for some applications such as oxyfuel that's enough but for high speed uh, plasma cutting we do need to know that we're actually moving with them synchronized. What about where, where your parts are actually being cut the table here tell us some of the advantages that Kerf offers with theirs. Uh, the Plasmaster 3015 is available in, in, in two variations really one is uh, the standard mode which will take up to say 10 millimeter thick plate we designed this one so that it will take a full 25 millimeter thick plate consistently and it will support the, the material. So, so all of the substructure on the machine is built really for heavy duty. What about extraction as well? Extraction from when you're after you're cutting or while you're cutting? The design of the table is such that we're only ever evacuating a small area. So we've got 500 mil wide bins, the parts drop down into the bin and then the air around that 500 mil area is evacuated either by a fan or by a filtration system. So, yeah, what's the advantage to that? You, it's, it's kind of aimed at a smaller area to extract. Yeah, I mean, if we were looking to, to save money and we, we could just build a three metre by 1500 bed, put a huge fan on and try and evacuate that whole area. But it, it still wouldn't be very efficient. It's, it's attention to detail really, isn't it? Yeah, I, I mean, it's, it's, got to, it's got to go into an environment where it's safe, safe for the operator and it just runs reliably. What thickness would you be cutting on a machine like this typically? Um, we've actually cut some 25 mil on this machine, but we would sell this machine with a 100 amp plasma to probably pierce and cut 12 to 15 mil. Because your range of machines is pretty extensive, so I'm, I'm hearing here, Craig, that this is a machine that would go into maybe a company that at the moment was subcontracting their work out. Uh, maybe they didn't feel they had enough work to bring in one of your larger machines, and this would be a good start for them. If people have got a huge requirement and or some, something in terms of quality that they really need, like a laser type quality, then they'd look at other models in the range. This is for a small workshop that wants to make two of these, four of those, five of those, but they need them immediately. How much are they? Uh, you could get a, com a complete turnkey package available to cut parts from under £25,000. Okay, that's, that's very competitive. It wouldn't take you long to get a return on that investment, would it really? I know it depends on what you're doing, but it's not a, it's not a massive outlay when it comes to a capital purchase where if you are subbing out quite a lot of work and you want that control, to get twenty-five grand back could be a matter of months. Would that be right? Well, we've had um, people that have bought these machines and they say, well, I'm only going to use one or, one or two hours a week but I need critical parts and I need them when I need them. I'm a one-man band. I don't want to wait for, for the subcontractor to deliver the parts. 
Control is always a big thing and that's what you get from having your own machine. I just want to finally ask you about the control system on this. I've asked you earlier about compromising machine build, which ev evidently there isn't any. Uh, the stability's there, the, the, the machining envelope as we can see here is, is pretty extensive too. But what about the control? How do you program this machine? Is it easy? Uh, the key part of the machine really is, is the control and drive system. And for that we've selected Bernie. Um, all of the, the curved machines uh, throughout the range, be it a water jet, be it an ultra sharp plasma, we like Bernie, it's bulletproof and it never lets us down. All right, that's a good finishing point there. These machines are available in stock, aren't they? This particular machine is here available to go. It's part of the, part of the beauty of this, a very competitively priced, high performance plasma cutting machine that's here, ready to go, correct? Absolutely, I mean, we could pick this up, put it on the back of a wagon, you can have it delivered and installed in the morning. Come with a warranty, training? Yeah, training support. Um, service and we keep all spares for all Kerf machines in stock here. And I think for, for you guys here at Kerf it really does kind of complement your existing range doesn't it? It means you can satisfy all needs now from small to large manufacturing uh, outlets. Yeah it's a nice little, it's a compact machine that just fills a little niche for people that want to cut parts but don't really want to go down to a, an entry level type machine.